In this video, we'll cover all the important points and formulas for lesson measurement and effects of heat. Heat is a form of energy. It always flows from an object at high temperature to an object of low temperature. An object expands when heat is given and contracts on cooling. The unit of heat in SI system is Joule, J, and in CGS it's calorie, CAL. Also, one calorie is 4.18 Joule. Quick recall, potential energy is possessed by a body by virtue of its position and kinetic ener energy is possessed by a body by virtue of its motion. The sources of heat are, first is the sun, the biggest source of heat for the earth. The second is the earth itself. The temperature is very high at the center of the earth and so it also provides energy to the earth. This heat is also called as geothermal energy. The third is the chemical energy. When fuels, for example, wood, coal, etc. are burnt, heat is generated in these chemical reactions between the oxygen and the fuel. The fourth is the electrical energy. The electrical equipments like electric heater, electric press, etc. produce heat and so they are also the source of heat. The next is atomic energy. Huge amount of heat is produced due to nuclear fission of some nuclear elements. So example, uranium, thorium, etc. Next is air. A large amount of heat is present in the air around us. Let's check the topic temperature. So what's the difference between heat and temperature? The total kinetic energy of the atoms in a substance is the measure of heat while the average kinetic energy of atoms is related to temperature. So to understand this, let's take an example. Take two vessels. In one vessel, you take one glass of water and in another vessel, take two glasses of water and the temperature of the water is the room temperature. What does it mean? That the average kinetic energy of the atoms, irrespective of their mass, okay, so even if it is one glass of water or two glasses of water, the average kinetic energy of the atoms would remain the same, since the temperature is the same. Whereas, if you consider the total kinetic energy of, of the, all the atoms, it will be more in the vessel where you have two glasses of water, since the mass is more. Okay, so therefore the heat would be more in the vessel with two glasses of water. This shows that heat depends on the mass of the substance. Thermometer is a device used to measure temperature. Temperature is measured in units of Celsius, that is degree C, Fahrenheit, degree F or Kelvin. The relationship between these units is F minus 32 upon 9 is equal to C upon 5. So that shows the relation between F and C. And the second equation is K is equal to C plus 273.15. So the relation between Kelvin and Celsius is this. Let's define what is specific heat. It is the amount of heat required to increase the temperature of unit mass of that substance through 1 degree. So in simple words, if you have a unit mass of a substance that is either 1 gram or 1 kg and you want to increase the temperature by 1 degree and the amount of heat that would have to be given to increase its temperature by 1 degree is called the specific heat of that substance. So every substance has a different specific heat. It is denoted by small c and its unit in SI is joule per kg degree Celsius and, C and in CGS it is calorie per gram degree Celsius. So, the quantity of heat required to increase from initial to final temperature of a substance of mass M and specific heat C is Q which is the amount of heat required is equal to M into C into Tf minus Ti where Tf is the final temperature and Ti is the initial temperature of that substance. Calorimeter is used to measure the heat content of a substance. Now, If an object with higher temperature is placed in a calorimeter then we have 
QO is equal to QC plus QW. What does this equation say is the heat lost by the object O is equal to the heat gained by both the calorie meter plus the heat gained by the water in the calorie meter. Let's check linear expansion. The linear expansion of a solid is the increase in length of a wire or a rod due to the increase in its temperature. So it's clear that when you have some elongated thing like a wire, okay, and if the length increases, when you provide temperature to it or when you increase the temperature, that's called as linear expansion. And a very important note is how much is the change in the length? So the change in the length is proportional to the original length. So whatever the original length of the wire or the rod was and how much is the temperature given? So more the temperature, more the increase in length. The change in temperature is denoted by delta T which is equal to T2 minus T1. T2 being the final temperature and T1 is the initial temperature. So we know that the change in length is directly proportional to the original length multiplied by the change in temperature. So the equation form of it is L2 minus L1 that is the change in length is proportional to L1 into delta T. Now to convert this proportional sign into an equation you have to add a constant and that constant is lambda. So you have L2 minus L1 is equal to lambda into L1 into delta T. Simplify this equation by getting L1 on the right hand side. L1 gets common so you have L2 is equal to L1 bracket 1 plus lambda delta T. Lambda is also called as the coefficient of linear expansion. Similarly, if a sheet of a solid is heated, its area expands and so you have aerial expansion of solids is A2 is equal to A1, 1 plus the coefficient of aerial expansion into delta T. If the volume of the solid increases, you have V2 is equal to V1, 1 plus beta delta T. This is called as the volumetric expansion of solids. Likewise, when a liquid is heated, its volume increases. So you have V2 is equal to V1 bracket 1 plus beta delta T. On similar terms, even in the gaseous form, the volume increases if the temperature increases. So you have V2 is equal to V1 1 plus beta delta T. Thanks for watching guys. If you like video, please like and share it with all your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Lastly, have lots of fun and take care. Bye.